Hello, welcome to Microsoft Dynamics 365 Financial Operation Tutorial Series. Now we are talking about the tables, and specifically in this video, we will be talking about a table method that is modified fill method. So, in this video, our target will be uh, knowing about modified fill, what is modified fill, how we can write the body of the modified fill method and what can be the utilization we will discuss so first we will cover the theoretical part after that we will move to the practical session there i will create a table and after that we will be utilizing this modified fill method okay so without wasting time let's start here in this slide you can see that modified fill is nothing but a table method uh, so if you do not know what is table method you can see our previous video i'll give the link of that video in the description you can visit so in this video we will be talking about modified field so first we will understand what is modified field and why this modified field method is used so it is executed when a field is modified for example if you have a table and if you are executing that table or uh, you are opening that table in the uh, browser mode or you are opening the table in the form then also when this when a particular field is modified in a form or the web form use this instead of placing code on the form control or form data source field so if you are using that particular table in a form then you can write the code in the form control or data source field but instead of that if this is this code will be executed or this code will be used in each and every time then this is the best practice to you write that code in the table method because this will fire each and every time so the fundamental thing is that if a particular field is actually modifying its value then modified field method will be called each and every time okay the next point is saying that each time the value of the field is changed the method modified field is called so so someone may ask that when this particular modified field is called so each time the value of field is changed this particular method modified field is called and it is useful to initialize the value of other fields if the value of the current field is changed okay so uh, you can use for this kind of operation you can utilize modified field now we will look into the syntax of uh, this is a public method and, and this uh, this will return type is void and it is it will take the parameters and it will take the field id so what is field id field id is nothing but uh, this is a uh, extended data type and uh, and this field id is particularly the field of uh, the table which we are going to modify and this extended data, data type is actually nothing but a base type is integer and you can see the help text of that particular uh, field id field and you can see if you'll pin the field id in the method you'll be able to see that it is returning the integer okay so now i hope this is clear why modified field table method is actually used and it, in which scenario we should use okay now i'll show you the practical example how we can do that or how we can utilize this so without wasting time let's move to the practical session move to the practical part here you can see that i have a project the project name is table method example and in this particular project you can see that i have a enum and it is containing uh, two elements the name of the enum is answer e designation and you can see there is a doctor and engineer is there and i have created a table in this table i have actually three fields uh, first one is the basic salary name 
and the designation and this one is the system created field this field particular field designation is the enum uh, we, we are using the uh, enum type answer it designation also this particular field name field is a string field and basic salary field also um, uh, this is also a string field so if you will run the code you will be able to see this type of result so now uh, my requirement is that whenever we will click a, a new button and after that we will select the doctor the basic salary will be auto generated okay so i'll give a particular value that if the if someone will select the engineer then the basic salary will be something and if someone will select doctor then his basic salary will be something which i will initialize using the a modified field and after that we can give the name of that employee so let's try to implement that so to create that i will click uh, on the employee table and directly icon view code like this so you can see that this is nothing but the code behind this employee table and it is a public class and the name of the class and the table name is same and it it is extending the common base class so uh, you already know that this is the part of uh, inheritance so extends keyword is there it means it is using the inheritance okay and the base class is the common one another method you can use to uh, go to the code you can directly expand this node uh, method section and if you right click you'll be able to see there is a override option and from there you can use your modified field so you can see that modified field event uh, sorry modified field method is there so you can directly click on that so if you click you can see that some skeleton of code is actually directly written over here by the system and if you look into this method you'll be able to see this is a public method that's a void method it will return nothing but void and the field id is there and underscore field id is the argument of method and it is calling the super that means it will call the base class modified field method so inside this we will write our own code to modify so if we'll print over here the field id the field id will be nothing but it will return or it will print the integer value so now we will write the code over here here in the first line you can see that in info in strfmt i am printing this parameter field id so if you'll uh, use this particular information you'll be able to see the id like one two three four and after that the super call will be there and you can use the switch statement whenever you will update any field or modify any field this method will fire and it will get the field id and for each and every field id we will be writing a different switch case you can write the different switch case so in this code you can see that i am taking but uh, nothing but a uh, one particular switch case for the designation column only so what the field name will do the field name will actually um, target a particular field that is here you can see it is targeting the employee table designation field so whenever uh, someone will change the designation field this case will fire and after that will break if you need one more case for another field then for that field you can write another case so that particular case will fire on that case now in this particular if statement i am saying that this dot designation means uh, the field designation if it will be the engineer then the changing i am changing the basic salaries value this dot salary will be 10,000 and if you, the designation will be the doctor then you will be able to see here 
that the, I'm changing the basic salary to 12,000 and after that I am just breaking the code over here so here basically three important thing you have to know that how you can write the code for the enum so if you uh, you can see that we can access the enum using the double clone so if you don't know how to create enum and uh, how to utilize enum the write the code how to write the code you can see our previous video for the enum while we discussed each and everything about the enum on that particular video i'll suggest that you uh, must see that video if you are getting problem with the enums so now we'll build the code and i'll show the output so right click on the project and then build so the build process completed now we'll right click on the employee table and we'll open in the table browser now here you can see that our table opened and last time you saw that when we have created on the uh, one record and if you want to change the designation engineer and doctor then the initial value not uh, initialized with the basic salary but if at this point of time if i select doctor you can see that it is giving the value one to zero 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 that is without any effort it is taking the value from the code itself and you can see that it is it is printing the field id again if you will click on the doctor and even this time if you will select the engineer now you can see the value is automatically created and after that you can give the name and you can save it again if you will click one more create one more uh, record and this time if you will select the doctor you can see that it is giving that basic salary and this time if you'll select i'm sorry and this is how you can actually initialize or uh, if some field is actually modifying its value based on that you can perform any operation on the other field okay you can uh, also give one information this particular field id is actually modifying and if you don't require it you don't uh, need to give this or you can pass the information uh, by changing the designation the salary value actually changing this kind of information you can pass or otherwise if it, if it is not required uh, no need to give this okay so i hope it is clear for you how the modified field method is actually working so in this video and in this code i have just shown that how you can utilize this is a sample code you can change your logic based on your requirement okay in this particular example i want to show you one problem that so first uh, just close this one and again you just run it uh, from the open table browser and this time just delete all the records and close again and after that open it in the table browser one more time and this time you can see that you will create one uh, record it is automatically selected by the designation but no basic salary is there so if you select the doctor then only your value will change here but initially when this particular table is actually opening that time the value is not opening so how to fix this so you can fix this using the init value or using the init method so you can fix this using the init method so how you can do that i'll show you so now if you'll go to the table and if you'll go to the method and if you'll override here there is a one more method which is called the init value so if you click over here you can see that init value is there and this is a public method and in, and it is returning nothing but void so we want that this particular information we actually want uh, so if you go to the this above code you can see that our first enum 
value is the engineer so you just copy it over here and you just paste it so now again just build and build process is completed now right click and open our system is loading you can see that now value is there so whenever you will click directly the new this time you can see that it is selected as an engineer and basic salary automatically uh, populated from the init method now if we we'll change it from the designation section you can see that this time it is going to the modified field method and it is changing its value okay so this is how you can utilize the init method init value so i hope the concept of init value and modified field method is clear so thanks for watching this video i hope the modified field method what is modified field method and how modified field method actually works and how we can take the advantage from it i have just shown that you just do practice and let me know if you have any question if you have any problem you can write it in the comment section i'll try to resolve it as soon as possible so thank you again see you in the next video